Hello, I'm Scott Ainsley. I'm here in Strasbourg, coming to the end of my first week as London's Green Party member of the European Parliament. It's such an honour. There's been a huge amount to take in, from learning how to navigate this huge building to getting to know my 74 new Greens and EFA colleagues who have been an absolute inspiration. They have all been swept in to become the fourth largest group in the Parliament on a green wave of optimism, looking to continue working together to build a more sustainable, fairer, more progressive, more equal and better European Union. We are building bridges across 28 different countries and 24 different languages. <laughs> it's not easy, but we're getting on with the work. Yeah, back in the UK, the big media furore has been the Brexit Party MEPs turning their backs while the Parliament played the European anthem. But where were the headlines about the actual work that's been underway over here? Come on, Britain. We are far better than this. I challenge all the media outlets and those who watch them to call on a fairer allocation of airtime to the positive work that is going on to cross-border work on combating the major issues we face today. Climate and ecological breakdown, gross levels of inequality across the world, threats to our democracy from international electoral interference and a whole raft of issues that respect no borders. Europe is the biggest and most successful peace project in history and we have been negotiating the priorities over the, for the next five years which will determine things like how we will approach keeping the peace, equality and inclusion, and food and environmental standards that will touch the lives of 500 million people in Europe. So as MEPs, I think we need to be more honest and transparent. We need to, to shatter the dangers uh, and myths that have led the UK into its current political crisis. And we need to shine a spotlight on what the EU genuinely does for us.